Sometimes, the greatest discoveries happen by accident. One day, while working on a live radar set, Spencer was fine-tuning a magnetron, the high-powered vacuum tube that generated the microwaves at the heart of the system. He paused for a moment, reaching into his pocket for a snack he'd been saving, a peanut cluster bar. But instead of a solid treat, his fingers found a sticky, gooey mess. The candy had completely melted. Spencer wasn't annoyed. He was intrigued. He looked from the melted chocolate on his hand to the humming magnetron, a spark of realization flickering in his eyes. The radar wasn't just detecting enemy planes. It was doing something to his snack. His mind raced with possibilities. Was it the heat from the equipment or something else entirely? His scientific curiosity took over, and he decided to run a few impromptu experiments. First, he sent a young assistant out to buy a bag of popcorn kernels. Holding the paper bag near the magnetron tube, Spencer and his colleagues watched in amazement as the kernels began to tremble, then burst into fluffy white popcorn, scattering across the lab floor. Their astonishment turned into a roar of laughter and excitement. They were witnessing a phenomenon no one had ever seen before. Emboldened, Spencer moved on to his next test subject, an egg. He carefully placed a raw egg inside a tea kettle and positioned it directly in front of the magnetron. A skeptical colleague, eager to debunk the seemingly impossible feat, leaned in for a closer inspection. In a flash, the internal pressure from the rapidly cooking yolk built up to an explosive point. The egg detonated, splattering hot raw egg all over the curious engineer's face. The messy result confirmed Spencer's hypothesis beyond any doubt. The magnetron AS microwaves were cooking food from the inside out and with incredible speed. Recognizing the revolutionary potential of this discovery, Spencer and his team immediately set about designing a device to safely harness this power. They constructed a simple metal box, a Faraday cage, to trap the microwaves, creating a concentrated field of energy. This crude prototype was the genesis of the first ever microwave oven. In 1947, Raytheon unveiled the Radar Ainge. It was a commercial and industrial behemoth, standing nearly six feet tall and weighing over 750 pounds. Cooled by a water plumbing system and costing thousands of dollars, these initial units were installed in restaurants, railroad dining cars, and ocean liners, where they could quickly heat meals for hungry patrons. A montage begins.